Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with any future videos. And those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for continuing to watch. Today, I just wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me type of video. Really chill, just low key chit chatting while I get ready to film some other videos because it was just going to be no tutorials but rather just get something on and then more talking videos coming up soon after this one. So I'm just going to go right into it and I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Soft Ochre paint pot which it looks like I'm going to have to buy a new one soon. For a while I started off using the MAC soft ochre paint pot and then I switched what was I using oh I was using the Urban Decay their eyeshadow primer was really popular and then I tried some Drexler ones and then what else was I using I forgot and then eventually I came back to the MAC one I just really love it as an eyeshadow base they have different colors I like the soft ochre I like the painterly there's some other ones uh, grand brown if you want different shades but this one just works really well for me also your concealer probably works just as a great but I already kind of got my brows started here. Don't worry, it'll look <laughs> a little bit better as we get the rest of our makeup on. But I'm just going to go ahead and set my concealer with my... I'm going to have to get a new one of these soon. I'm already hitting pen on my NYX HD setting powder. So we're just going to go ahead and set that. And I'm not doing anything crazy with the eyes today. Just kind of getting something on. Something a little bit different. I wanted to play with my Milani Pure Passions palette. The only thing I hate is the fingerprints on this. But I haven't used this one in a while. Let me know if you guys have picked this one up yet. I think was this an Ulta exclude no. The not the Bold Obsessions. Ugh, what is it called? Gilded Desires. I think that one was an Ulta. This one I got from the Milani website. So but I really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade totally fun of you. This is turning to the tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna add that here. Oh my god, look at that pigment. Jesus. Oh my god, I love Milani so much. But I actually wanted to talk a little bit. I was really happy with um your guys's like kind of reactions and how much you guys actually really like my latest old navy try on haul video. I'm gonna admit I was a little bit scared to film it because <laughs> I've never done any like clothing type of videos here, but I was super excited, you know. Who isn't excited about an Old Navy sale? But in general, I was like, you know what? We got some cute stuff. And I was like, let's try to mix and match and see what other stuff I already have in my closet from Old Navy. Because I've just been loving Old Navy and Old Navy Kick, Old Navy Target. I've just been buying from there. Just because it's so easy. I like the fit. I like it. the quality as well. Because there's a difference between, like buying clothes it's really inexpensive but then you know the quality's not that great you know you, you know what stores you know like i used to love always shopping at forever 21 but it only lasts so long like you know I'll still get stuff here and there but also i'm like am i too old for forever 21 what's the age cut off i haven't bought anything in a while <laughs> it's been a couple years but i mean hey i can get their accessories if i want but i don't know is there an age cut off for that it doesn't matter i don't know but I've been really liking Old Navy. And I know in general, um, I want to kind of shorten those type of videos. I was definitely just kind of looking for what was the what was the best um, formatting for it. Still playing around with it, so bear with me if you guys want to see some more clothing videos. Um, someone did kind of comments like, not trying to offend, you know, but it was pretty chatty. And I was like, you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> it was. Or like rather like I can totally just mix it up a little bit so it isn't just me sitting talking about the clothes because it's like you want to see it. I did try to add like a little timestamp so you guys can actually see like when that starts if you wanted to skip ahead to that. So hopefully that was helpful. But I totally get it. I was just like, no, you know what? Even I was just kind of like, I want to do even better next time and just improve and do better. Kind of similar to makeup videos. You know, if you've seen from the beginning, it's been an awkward road. <laughs> I feel like that's just how it is in general, just kind of getting your style down, getting it down, the comfort with it in general. Um, I'm not comfortable, fully comfortable doing try-on videos, or I wasn't. I really liked it, um, so I definitely want to do more. In general, you know, it's just kind of like, mm, I'm not at my best weight that I want to be. So I was just like, oh, I don't know, I'm not feeling the best about myself. But I was like, you know what? 
you know what? Because you haven't bought the best fitting clothes or you're not dressing for like your size not type of a thing. Um, so how do you do that? You go to Old Navy and you feel really good about the clothes and the comfort and the fit of it. So I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just get comfortable with it. And in general, it's just been something I've been working on and it's a struggle. The weight loss struggle. That's exactly what it is. It's hard. Um, it's hard to want to devote that time. It's hard to want to get up early. <sighs> I'm not a morning person. I'd rather, I guess, work out in the evening if I have to. But at the same time, once you're done with work, you're done with the day, it's like, do you really want to work out or do you want to do like absolutely nothing? So I'm trying to find the best thing for me, the best, whatever works best for me. And I know weekends, I've, I've gotten better with working out on the weekends. And I'm actually, I should have posted right before this video my morning routine, my weekend morning routine video. So you'll kind of see like definitely on the weekends trying to get on the, like at least get going out for a run with my dog, which is like awesome. Especially if you have a husky, it's kind of like, all right, if you want to tire out your husky, go out and go for a run so that's where I've been at least you know starting off there and sometimes I'll do it in the evenings and just be like all right go let's do it let's go out for a run and you know afterwards you always just you feel better about it it's like I need to do something I know in general you can't just run but hey I gotta start somewhere and eventually kind of mix in I'll try to mix in like the weights because I know you got to do a nice mix of like weight training or in general weight training will probably lose more weight than what cardio will do. Eventually cardio, you're not gonna get much out of it. A little by little, I guess I'd rather chip away at it because what I always do, and let me know if you do the same, I always tend to um, make a goal and I go super hard for like a week maybe, three or four days maybe, maybe a week max. I'll go super hard and after that I'm over it. And then we're back to doing nothing and then we're back to doing something for a couple days and then I'm over it. <laughs> That's my cycle and I kind of want to break that cycle a little bit. In general, we're starting maybe a little bit with trying to eat healthier, which I know, I think that's harder than working. I'd rather work out than try to eat healthier. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely, but that's where it starts too, the food. And for me, it was cutting off hot Cheetos. <sighs> That's been the hardest. It's been 28, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 28. 32, 32 days sober. Oh my God. You can mention this in my last chit chat here right with me. Every time you're just gonna get a countdown. Ugh. It's the first two weeks were fine. And after week three, I started jonesing. I started craving, I started needing, and I've almost given into temptation a couple of times. But I was like, no, 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 you feel good. <laughs> you feel good for a reason. Because when I tell you, when I tell you I love hot Cheetos, it was, it was a problem. It was like a bag a day, a whole bag a day, four to like six times a day, a week. It was really bad. And then, I mean, we cut it down to maybe like four times, three to four times. And I was like, you know, we just, we need to say goodbye for a little bit. We need a break. And I feel like it's been making a difference. Just eliminating that and the little bit of exercise has been making a difference. I was like, oh, why? Why is this Why is this the answer to all my problems? <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys are on the same hot Cheeto struggle with me as well. It's so hard. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Yes, I can. Ugh, it's so hard. By the way, I'll be listing everything that I use down below in case you guys are curious. Ooh, okay, what color is this? So I'm going to the Pure Passion. I hate that. Sometimes it's opposite. I think I know which way it is. I think this is Biggest Flirt or Desert Getaway. No, the pink's on that side. This is under the pink. No, this is Desert Getaway. I'm using this on my lid. But yeah, so I also filmed my morning routine. I actually just finished today right now <laughs> uploading that. Or not uploading, it's processing. It's Sunday night, so it should be up hopefully this evening. So it's processing right now on YouTube. So I'm just waiting. Hopefully you guys enjoy that one a little bit more. Trying to be a little bit more open here. I feel like, honestly, uh, I feel like in general, it's weird, but you know what, I, you, you'll know what I'm talking about because you are also probably the same and you watch, you know, YouTube videos, but it's like when I watch somebody on YouTube, I want to get to know them. 
I'm a little nosy. I'm, I'm chismosa. Like, I want to know anything and everything about you. I think it just makes me enjoy someone a little bit more. So, I guess that's maybe what I'm trying to do. Open up a little bit more with you guys. Talk a little bit more. Chat, even if it's the most random things. I feel like maybe someone else, you know, will also really enjoy that. Or similar. We can find some similarities here and there. So, I hope you guys are enjoying these to check it right with get readies with me um i think you are seems like you are people seem to really like watching these i mean i like watching them i like to just hear people ramble on and on and on about odd uh, times absolutely nothing maybe you know we can have actual topics <laughs> but i like to do that i like to watch those type of videos i just you know while you're getting ready so let me know what are you what are you doing <laughs> right now while you're watching this video comment down below while I'm getting ready to film another video and just honestly playing with makeup. I was like, hmm, I don't know where this look is going. We're just going for it. And just honestly mixing some of my high-end and drugstore products here. I feel like also in general, uh, we're coming a long way. Like there's a lot more people subscribed to my channel, which is awesome. We're almost at 10,000. Like, holy crap, what? What? 10,000 people are like, yeah, let me listen to this chick, you know, just talk about makeup and just nonsense and everything. Like, that's just freaking awesome. I was like, wow. Thank you so much if you guys have subscribed. Thank you so much if you have, like, tuned in and stuff. I'm super excited. I maybe even, like, kind of want to do maybe a more in-depth, more actual, like, Q&A. I think that would be super fun. I haven't done that here on my channel. Let me know if you guys would love to see that. And uh, hopefully we can get that in soon before the end of the month of October. I'm super excited. I'm curious as to what you're curious to know. But then at the same time, it's kind of like, what if nobody asks me any questions? <laughs> so I think once we hit that 10,000 mark, I think I'll go ahead and do that Q&A as a little prize thing there. So look forward to that coming soon and get your questions ready. Next, I'm going to go ahead and see what we have left here. My L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer. Yeah, we still have some. Woo! I have been trying to use this as much as possible. So the foundation I'm actually gonna use today is the Maybelline Fit Me, the Dewy and Smooth. I did a review a long, long time ago on this. Uh, probably when I started my channel, so I said, probably 2015 I think I did a video on this. Um, at two apartments ago, I did a video, a review. Um, I had never used it, I had only ever heard not so good things about it. Um, and I realized it's because all the oily skin girls were trying it out. I didn't hear any dry skin girls talk about it. So I was like, let me talk about it. I love it. <laughs> if you're dry skin and you have not tried this, you need to. I have been feeling extremely dry lately. We're doing that transition from uh, uh, summer to fall or rather winter. Was <laughs> It was like a summer day. And then two days later, it was freaking winter. It was like 30 degrees in the morning. I was like, what in the heck? Um, so I was just like, you know what? I want to try this again because, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well, some people, sometimes I'll get comments from like older videos. And I'll try to comment back, you know, to them if I catch them. And I forgot someone had commented on a video like, what bronzer are you wearing? And I was like, I want to find out too. That looks good. <laughs> I was like, oh man, my foundation looks really good there. Like, it looked really nice and glowy. And I was just like, that was the Maybelline Fit Me. I think I figured out what bronzer it was. Um, finally, after stalking myself. <laughs> I was like, what was I using at that time? Because I wasn't listing down below what products I was wearing, which I try to do. So if you guys are always ever curious, like, oh, what lipstick is that? What eyeshadow? And it's like not a tutorial. I'm just like doing a video always check the description box I try to add that because I know I'm curious when I watch other people's videos especially for the lipstick I want to know so I was at least I knew at this time I was using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I was like you know what I need to repurchase this because I want that glow I love my Milani one but this one is like dewy glow and for right now my skin is struggling I want the dewy glow because then you know it'll just be a regular glow once the winter and oh my god I've been loving it I have been loving it so much. So, been feeling extra dry. You've been kind of, you know, following along your regular routine, but you want that extra glow. Maybelline. 
the dewy and smooth. If you're oily, they came out with the Fit Me, the matte and poreless, which I think they made the best of both worlds, which I think every single makeup brand should do. If you're gonna do a foundation for oily people, can you give us Dry Skin Girls also a foundation? Because it's so frustrating whenever a new foundation, I try not to ever get too excited because I was like, it's probably gonna be matte, it's probably gonna be matte, it's probably gonna be something for like oily skin people. I'm like, ugh. But every once in a while we can find, you know, something for us dry skin girls. But I know a lot of people like the matte full coverage. Can I get a dewy full coverage? Please and thank you. Which, that's why I love Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Concealer that I'm gonna whip out today is the MAC 24 hour one. Because I just played with it a little bit. And I've been when I've been doing tutorials, I've been trying to do more um, drugstore tutorials. So I haven't been playing with this one on camera as much. So like, let's whip it out. I did a review and demo on this, the 24 hour, is it full cover? Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer. So if you guys are curious, I did that. I did that thing. That's the concealer. I'm curious, so I'm curious. I wanna know, because I love concealers, but I'm like, I tend to get better feedback or more views in general, I'm just gonna say it, <laughs> with um, drugstore reviews, but who else here is curious about the new Huda Beauty, the, what is it called? The Overachiever Concealer. So Huda Beauty just came out with the Overachiever Concealer. I never tried the Faux Filter Foundation just because I knew it was going to be matte. Like, I love that it was full coverage, but I was like, I don't, that's probably not going to work out. <laughs> that's probably not going to go well with my skin. So I never really went for it. But usually if it's like a mattifying concealer, I'll try them out because it's totally different from underneath my eyes and all over my face. And I have a lot of matte concealers that I really liked. Ooh how much I like this concealer um so I'm definitely curious it's supposed to be like 31% pigments $30 but it's supposed to have like all these awesome you know like ingredients in it um so I definitely want to see but I want to know is it worth it to pick it up is that something you guys want to see I know they have it at Sephora and it didn't sell out because I don't know if people are like mm, I want to wait and see first <laughs> in general uh how that kind of goes I haven't tried her palette. I honestly haven't tried Huda Beauty anything. I haven't tried palettes. I haven't tried lipsticks. I'm kind of glad I guess I didn't try the eyeshadow palette because then they revamped it and I don't know. Also, I haven't heard too much about those. Um, but the concealer. I Concealer addiction here. So yeah, I want to know. Is it good or not? Let me know if you guys are curious about that concealer because then I might have to pick it up next paycheck. Because it's $30. <laughs> I am going in with the next HD setting powder and setting that concealer. But that's nice. I like that concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner off camera and my lashes just because that, that usually takes me a little while. I went ahead and put on my liner. You know which one. A NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And then I also put on my lashes Ardell Wispies. I know I need to get some new lashes. I need more crazy ones because I finally finally <laughs> my um cocoa lashes and a more are worn all out like yeah they're done but if you've seen a bunch of videos that one pair has been going so I need to buy a new pair I want to get some cocoa lashes I know I usually get them from Lady Moss. It's been a while. LadyMoss.com. I think the makeup shack has them too. Let me know if you guys have seen Coco Lashes anywhere else. I hope and wish they'll bring them to Riley Rose because that would be awesome. But if not, I know Riley Rose and now uh, Ulta also has the, what is it, House of Lashes, which I did find or did eventually try the Iconic ones, which I really did like. So I was like, okay, maybe we'll try some more House of Lashes at Ulta. I haven't seen them in stores. I had just seen that they recently added them to... Um, what do you call it? They're online, so hopefully they'll come to stores soon, which also next, what I'm getting, what I'm on the hunt for, is the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. So I've seen maybe like two or three palettes at my Ulta near me, and then I've seen it in Chicago. They have Juvia's Place, like a whole like little gondola, little section, the corner, like the ends caps of the Juvia's Place in the West Loop Ulta. I'm going to regret saying that because now everybody's going to go West Loop Ulta. <laughs> but I want to get the Masquerade palette. 
I want to try that out. And I regret not getting it, but I was like, I'm not doing till payday. And then I was like, oh, I'm not at the West Loop yet. I was like, oh, do I do need to do an online order now? But I was like, no, 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 wait, maybe they'll have it at my Ulta. And they only had like, they had the other palettes. I forgot which one it was. It the Magic Palette? I forgot what it's called, but they had just the two ones where I'm kind of like, mm, not really needing those, you know? I kind of want something with a little bit more color. And then they had like the more kind of like a neutral, nice neutral one. And then, yeah, I was like neutral ones. I was like, no, I want something some color. I really want to see this pigmentation pay off because like, it just looks like amazing. I'm going to take my Galactic Luminous Face Powder. Luminous, yeah, right? Luminous Face Powder. Um, so yeah, I really want to try that uh, Masquerade one. It looks really nice. I'm going to have to pick that up. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I have been loving recently using my Anastasia, my bronzer in the shade Rosewood. I really like this one a lot. So I've been using it. And right now while I was doing my lashes, I would usually when I film and I do a voiceover tutorial and I'm not chit chatty, I'm watching something on my iPad. Cause I just do everything while I watch on my iPad. I do the dishes, I cook, I I clean, I fold the laundry. <sighs> what is life without an iPad man? I just like to watch something, it just makes the time go by quick. But uh while I was doing my lashes and my liner, I turn on I had my phone right here since my iPad was ugh, too far away. But, um, I just finished, I'm actually watching, I started watching the new season of This Is Us. Um, I was like, damn, this is probably a bad idea to watch. This. I don't think I've ever watched This Is Us while I'm filming a tutorial or anything. <laughs> because, like, that would be a bad idea. Because This Is Us, if you've seen This Is Us, you know how freaking emotional that show is. I love it so much. The only reason why I really ha had to watch it is like, alright, we're going to check this out. Because, well, one, people were saying it was really good. But, if you watch Gilmore Girls and you're a Gilmore Girls fan, um, Jess from Gilmore Girls, My Love Intimiglia, is on it. I was like, I need to watch this. I need anything with him on it, I need to watch. Oh my god. Just so you know, I was Team Jess. Yes. Um, what were you guys? Team Dean or Team Logan? I, I don't know. Dean was just like, I don't know. And Logan's a little shit. <laughs> Logan's just a spoiled little rich boy. I, I don't know. I wasn't I, I wasn't feeling it and yeah, no team Jess all the way those are just That's my type <laughs> That's just what I like. So I definitely had to watch This is us. Let me know if you guys also watch Gilmore Girls and watch it and by watch I mean you watch it over and over and over and over again So I was like, okay, I just started watching this is us again because first I was like, oh my god, the new season. But I was like, you know what, let me wait for a couple episodes so I can watch like a bunch at once. And then also what had what had happened was, ooh, I decided to whip out my Benefit Rockateur blush. Um, the new seasons, which I mentioned in my morning routine, <laughs> the new seasons of The Housewives New Jersey and Atlanta came out on Hulu. So I... I had to watch them and sometimes honestly I was like Ugh, I can't wait I almost like want to buy them on <laughs> like iTunes or Amazon Prime just because I can't wait but I gotta know what's the drama I yes guilty pleasure I don't even know if it's guilty I'm gonna tell you I love watching the housewives I love so I watch pretty much almost all of them so definitely I watch New Jersey Beverly Hills Atlanta and New York um ask me what my favorite is I don't know they're all pretty good <sighs> definitely I think definitely Atlanta and New Jersey are like tied tied for tops um what was I gonna say Beverly Hills girls though they can get a little crazy it was like that rich rich drama rich lady drama like mm. Definitely Beverly Hills and then New York. New York, I'll admit, I took a break. Like, I stopped watching. Like, or I tried to, like, rewatch all the seasons. And then I skipped. I told I couldn't get through the seasons without Bethany. I was kind of like, mm, snooze. It was a snooze fest. They needed Bethany back. And then in between, like, instead of watching those seasons, I watched, um, what was it? The Bethany, her. I'm trying to look for my highlight while I'm talking. Where's my highlight? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was actually, ooh, I was going to whip out the Reezy, the Alm Reezy Anastasia highlight today. Um, but I started watching the her, the Bethany Hearst spinoffs. What is it, Bethany Ever After? Oh, I love those. It just, you should watch those. Those are definitely, it's like its own, like, motivational get your shit together type of things. <laughs> but yeah, so I watched those, and then I just completely ended up skipping the seasons without her, and then she was back. 
Um, so definitely Bethany is my favorite from New York. Um, I'm trying to, ooh, what was I going to say? And then hmm, New Jersey, New Jersey. Um, I love New Jersey because drama, drama, drama. I love the drama. The one character I actually really did like a lot was, um, who is it, Caroline? Uh, she's no longer on it, but she was just like no nonsense and this is the actual things going on. Because like I love drama, but sometimes people are just like, you're just a dumbass. Like, oh my god, you need a voice of reason type person. So I did like Caroline. Um, I never watched uh, Manzoed with children because it's not on Hulu. And I believe me, I've debated buying that. Um, so I really like Caroline. And then I just like the drama between the Gorgas. It's good. It's good. They picked a good family. You got to keep them on there. So I like them. Let's see, Atlanta. Mm. Atlanta. I definitely I think I like Candy because she's also a reasonable human being, I feel like. <laughs> um, I like Candy a lot. Nini's just, you know, she's just, she's just great. She's just good for the drama. She's good for the jokes. I love it. Um, I don't feel like the season suffered without her. Um, I feel like Kenya's kind of annoying. It's just like, just why? why but I mean hey you need some you need that drama person there or whatever but Atlanta drama I love it I love the shade I love it so much I love it um and then I actually did even watch Tardy for the party I'm not like oh my god I love Kim or anything no 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 but I mean I don't know it's just I love stupid drama I love just like don't think about it type television things. Um, so yeah, that's why I love the Housewives. And yes, I do watch the Kardashians. I don't think they're the best people in the world. I don't, you know, like praise them or think like, I don't idolize the Kardashians, but they got some good drama too. And I don't know, I just like watching that type of TV. Just take your mind off things. Let me know what's your favorite. If you watch the Housewives, let me know um, what's your favorite. I can't choose. Oh, Beverly Hills, I didn't go over Beverly Hills. Huh. I think I like Kyle. I like Kyle. She can be a little mm, sometimes. I do like Kyle. I'm trying to think Beverly Hills. Oh, they haven't had a season in a while. Oh, the actual one I've been starting to like from Beverly Hills is Erica Jane. She's also no nonsense. I like the no nonsense people. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, come on, let's get this together. Does that tell you a little bit about me? <laughs> so I'm actually doing my new, not new, my recent favorite lip combo when I stop talking while I do my lip liner so I use my Mac world lip liner totally don't have to use it Mac the one that's kind of similar giving you those mauvey vibes I would say is um what is it called Nick soft spoken that's my alternative but I, I love Mac world and then I'm actually taking out this guy which I'm like well I haven't used him in a while this is Maybelline touchable taupe oh I love this color right now and it's a creamy one, so it's not like matte. I think those two on their own, I think, are great. But what I've been doing is I picked up when I went on my Old Navy haul, which is why I also didn't buy too many things, because I also had to go to Ulta. I picked up, finally, the Essence. This is their Shine, Shine, Shine lip gloss in the shade So Into It, num number five. I think this was like $5 or less. Really inexpensive, but... I really like this lip gloss. Super shiny. It doesn't um, dry my lips and it just looks really nice. And it's almost similar to like that touchable taupe color. It's going to leave my hair down but I decided to add in a little bit of um, dry shampoo earlier so I was like oh we got a little volume going on. Let's do the undone bun. I love that the undone bun is super easy and great for lazy days where you kind of want to seem like I kind of did my hair type of a day. <laughs> That's what this is going to be in the next <laughs> video probably. But thank you guys so much for hanging out, chit-chatting with me. Definitely comment down below on some of your opinions of some of the random topics. This is just what chit-chats are. Very, very random. Let me know if there's ever a topic you guys want to discuss that you're interested in, you want me to hit on. Feel free to comment that down as well. But I'm super excited. I hope you guys are interested in a Q&A with me. Definitely I like this video to see some more chit chats and or for a Q&A in the future. That helps share the video and helps let me know that, yeah, you guys actually do like these type of videos and you're interested. So I'll definitely try to do some more of those for you guys. But once again, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with some more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.